Okay guys, welcome back to Zardom's Total War, where we're going to be playing as Moldavia. Right. Uh, we don't even have a port se um, settlement. Well, we have a settlement on the Black Sea, but it doesn't have a port yet. So we're not getting any trade through the Black Sea. We're going to remedy that. Now, we did lose a general last episode, didn't we? Um, he was the former factioneer. And uh, we ran into some tough units over here. Um, so units that I don't think I had when I played as the Golden Horde. Yeah, because I have played as them. That wasn't the last campaign, but it was fairly recent. Sometime last year, I think. Right. This general is going to uh, come on down. And I have a help push eastwards. Um or we'll take this rebel settlement. Do they? What if they have a port? Do they have a port? They don't, because he's actually standing right where the port would be. Uh, do I need to move any agents? Because I've got three priesties. Quite good ones. No, nope, he's been moved. He's been moved. He's chilling out there. Oh, you're in a dangerous spot because there's always a earthquake at Friuli right at the beginning of the campaign so you need to get out of there you're in our capital of Sukieva. all right am i getting any, any units there no not at the moment um there's a mounted version of them right there and they have underperformed uh, i think i started with two units of them and they got wiped out so yeah they're not great these are a good archer unit, but they do cost 800. We want to push on and take out the Golden Horde because then there's a number of uh, rebel settlements that we can grab and we'd be close to victory, I think. I'm not sure of any of these settlements, named settlements, that we need are actually in our neighbor's territory, like in Hungarian or Valachian territory because we're allied to both of those we started out allied to both of them now I'm still looking for suggestions for the next campaign um, for which faction to play uh, you're welcome to leave your suggestions at any point in time and we will consider them for the next campaign. I've done an Austrian campaign as well, haven't I? I do want to get a campaign going where we have access to the uh, Hussite units because those are rather unique units. Not just in this mod, but pretty much in any medieval mod. Did we talk to them? Did I talk to them? I don't remember. Ah. Now I'm going to ask them for map info first. Alright, thank you Swiss. Alright. I doubt if he can get through there. It's always a tough time getting through. There's only like two passes through the mountains. Fairly certain we talked to Venice. Uh, that was the last campaign we did. Question, my lord. Oh, who's that? Bosnians. Is there I can do for you? Yeah, I always had trouble with the Bosnians when I did my Venetian campaign. They were always coming off over into my territory. Not really sure why. We had a lot of money when we played as Bosnia. I mean a lot. Alright, should be a settlement around there. Uh, there's the faction, Karamanid. They were up for this campaign, but they didn't win the vote. So they will be up again next time. Right, so 
I moved both of those and uh, there's my spy. What's his chance of getting in? Not great. Right, they do have troops around there. Mm, those are strong, and those are strong. That's their faction leader. So, four units, seven units. Seven units. Eight. Can we call Crusades? Because we're not Catholic, are we? How good is he? Terrible. Could have sworn I had another priesty. How good are you? Uh, no. Apparently, cannot call crusade. Yeah, because we're not Catholic. Hmm. We should be able to call our own crusades. If we want to, that's how I feel. My Lord. My now they can reach him, but it's going to slow him down a bit. And we need to get a move on. We might get attacked, but I doubt it. And it's slow replenishment over here for some reason. Right, that doesn't bring in much money. You don't seem to have very good buildings as far as economy goes. Got a lot of devastation there. Masterfield. That doesn't give us any units. Uh, law goes down, happiness goes down, income and trade goes up. We can get away with that. That doesn't give us any units though. I think we'll go with that one. Right, wasn't I building, yeah, Saxon immigrant um, building, which will actually give us Saxon harbineers. Right, we should, I think, be at uh, 1,300 subscribers by now, I think. Um, so we need to push on to 1,400 subscribers. And the only way to do that is if you great people subscribe to the channel. Because I can't do that. I certainly can't do it a hundred more times. Um, so yeah, it's up to you how quickly the channel grows and how big it grows. So I would like you to subscribe. But if you don't subscribe, just carry on watching because that helps as well. I do like playing as those Italian factions because they're the only ones who can get merchants in this current version of the mod. This has been a rather passive uh, campaign. I don't know what's going on. I remember the first time I played Zardom's Total War um, in an earlier version, or several versions back. It was a lot tougher <clears throat> and every faction was a lot more aggressive. Maybe. Is there something to discuss, my uh, no, we don't want you as an ally. Accepted. I accept. Goodbye, my friend. Without question, my lord. Right. Um, Milan and Florence should be out there. Florence over here somewhere. Without question, my lord. 
and rebels. And we've talked to everyone down here in any case. At least until the Timurids show up. Your chance of getting in there. Not great. Not a very big settlement, but it does have a port, and it's only got a palisade, so that's a good target for pushing out. Yes. What I think it's got a lot of archers. Get a ship. But why would we need a ship? Yeah, I still don't know why the replenishment is so low down here. Right, we've got Saxon Village, and there's the Saxon Halberdiers, which will be a good unit because we're not strong in spears and pikes and halberds. Not really. No corruption over there. So you do have money left over. Alright. Yeah, they were a disappointment. So that other army should be ready. We can take a lot of troops out of that settlement by the sea. Which actually did get renamed when we captured it, I think. Now, yesterday was a bit of an odd day. I tried recording three times in three different medieval mods, or medieval two mods, and they all crashed. I don't know why. Now, the English Civil War mod might not be able to finish that. Well, we're playing as Parliament, um, but that crashed. Even Third Age Divide and Conquer crashed, and that never crashes. And what was the other one that crashed? There was another one. Maybe the Rise of Three Kingdoms mod. That's the drawback when you play mods. Especially uh, Medieval 2. Hopefully we get, well, possibly we get a remaster that isn't completely messed up by Creative Assembly. Didn't get anything built that time. Right. They only get one free upkeep unit. Which ain't much. Right, I say we take him right now and push out. Was there anyone in there? No one, so we can stage some units in there. Ah, oh, Kipchak archers. Holders, my king. The enemy lies defeated. We so are they do. And those are good archers. And victory, my lord. Yes. How many does he need for his uh, full stack? Eight. Four. Six. Seven. Eight. Well, we got a little money left over. Who's that? Uh, Genoese merchant. All right, there's Florence. Yes, another proposition. We shall listen, of course. They don't have any allies. Something just as useful, I hope. We cannot quite accept it. Right, now there is Genoa and Milan up here, but I want to get down and 
talk to the Popey. Without question, my lord. Tomorrow's journey awaits. Can I help, my lord? There's another pass over there, isn't there? At once. Without question, my lord. Yes, my lord. At once. Tomorrow's journey awaits. Then we'll just leave him Sire. there. Because I don't think he's going to get in. And again, 95% chance. That happened with our other two spies and our assassin, didn't it? No idea what's going on there. See, our trade won't go up really because we only have two land borders with Hungary and Wallachia. We need that port settlement. That's what we need. And we'll look at our family tree as well. Because the last campaign, the Venetian one, we did not get a family tree. We got a whole bunch of uh, generals who spawned in. And we were able to recruit generals every, I think, 15 turns. Something like that. Uh, from our capital. But we didn't have a family tree. I'm not even sure if we got a Man of the Hour event in that. Or any adoptions. Now I'm sure the Knights of St. John are going to be a fan favourite when we play them at some point. Realistically though, as this is a, either coming out at the end of March or the first week of April, we'll probably only get one and a half more campaigns after this is one was finished in uh, 2024. Right, family tree, no kids, you're getting old, they are not producing, not producing at all. An honor, Lord. Without question, my Lord. All right, Papal States, large settlement. Yes, I shall speak with them. What is it you would discuss with me? Excellent. What else would you suggest? For some reason, we have a mixed reputation. Seems we Another proposition? We shall listen. I am afraid I must. This was a good All day right. for our people. Yes, I shall speak with their representative. Tomorrow's journey. Who is your representative? Yourself. At once. Tomorrow's journey awaits. Might as well get another spy while we're at it. Your yes. Maybe we can get a man of the hour of That's why we're getting any spies, isn't it? Nope. And we're getting no spies at. Right there. Let's get another priesty. God's servant. I will make All right. them fear you. So he's got six units. Can't remember if there's a garrison oh, script or not. But we should be able to take that one. Is we can actually leave the unit behind. Give him his full snack. Alright, drill square, archery range. What do we get from a mercenary camp? Horse archers, crossbows, swords. Right, I think that's the one we need, although, yeah, I'm going to get that port. Getting that port. We've now got better defences. Right. Right. 
I mean, that's a strong unit, strong unit. And they can put down stakes, but I doubt if they will. But should we go and try to kill their king? I think we end this turn and end the episode. And then we'll start the next one with the assault on that settlement. So that they got a port and they're only a small settlement, whereas that one we captured, um, that was a citadel, wasn't it? And that wasn't even built up. Let me see, I think there's also a Genoese settlement in um, Crimea. We might take that because we won't face any repercussions from the Genoese, I don't think. So there's at least two, possibly three settlements in the Crimea, isn't there? All of which should have ports. We could easily end up with a two, three, four, six or seven ports. We're going to grab as much as the uh, Black Sea coast as we can. Of course, one uh, enemy ship placed outside of Constantinople could block all of that, couldn't it? Yeah, another bride, another wedding. Uh, was he a Venetian? Yep, see, they did get a lot of generals. Civil War. What? We get... Oh, I didn't realise that we have a civil war. I know... Uh, Byzantines or East Romans, Bulgars and Serbs do. They're a rebellious of like noblemen, lord, maybe. Uh, Bogdan. I know a guy called Bogdan. He was Polish though. Um, he has been in conflict for several years with the King of Hungary. Has now crossed the Carpathians with his army. It seems that he is intent on seizing the throne of Moldova for himself. Will you join Bogdan's rebellion and fight to overthrow Dragos and his Hungarian allies, Mr. Uncle? Or will you stay loyal to Dragos? I'm going to stay loyal. The player chooses to side with Bogdan and he will gain control of his armies. Ooh. However, war will be declared with Hungary and Dragos, who controls the capital, will need to be defeated. He will need to defeat Bogdan's army. Okay, so... Which is the one that we tick? Um, that's not quite clear, is it? I want to stay loyal to the Hungarians and Dragos. So, and this is going to get messed up. Ah, oh, blast it. You know what? Oh. What happened? I was going to try and quick save it. Alright, well, something went wrong there, didn't it? Faction leader died. Um, okay, we've apparently lost that settlement. Well, you live and you learn. Um, Right, you're going to have to come back. So that's where my leader was. Uh, they got a strong army. So we now have to kill them off. And we lost a settlement. Blast. Okay. Yep, I was going to try and order save and then make the choice. So we could go back. Um, but oh well. Alright, why is that not working? Latch coup. Where is Latch coup? Um, 
No, he's not there. I said he came of age. That's cool. Well, I don't know how he came of age. Yeah, this is a weird campaign, isn't it? Uh, we had a problem with our princesses before. Um, also, we put a priest in there, didn't we? Now he's gone. And then we got Valakian allies popping up. Right, well, we'll just have to deal with it. You will attack them at the beginning of the next episode. Uh, can't do anything there, we just lost that. Uh, if we get that, it's going to be a long way from the front lines, isn't it? But it might come in useful. How long to get that? A bit quicker. <clears throat> right, well, um, those are good but expensive. Five turns to recruit. Never seen a unit take that long. Never. Might even need units from up there. Well, we can't get much. Yeah. Okay, well, there is that. 